The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. So number 14, we're also solving an equation, this time an exponential equation. This one's going to draw on a couple of different pieces of information you've learned. You have 9x plus 3, 9 to the x plus 3 to the x equals ln of e to the 6. So the first thing we can do is ln of e to the 6, ln of e to any power is always just going to give you that power. This is just going to be 6. But writing these as 9 to the x plus 3 to the x right now does not help us. We can't really solve that as written. What you should always aim to do if you have multiple exponential terms is try to get them to be the same base. We can definitely do that here because 9 is 3 squared. So this is 3 to the 2x plus 3 to the x. And in general, it's good for equations to equal 0. So let's subtract that over and get equal 0 there. So now, this is going to draw in a little bit of critical thinking here. What does this equation look like? This looks like a quadratic because we have a double power, a single power, and a constant. So if you remember how to do the quadratics using substitution, that's the form of this equation. So what we're going to do is say u equals 3 to the x. Let's let u be our substitution. So our, our equation now becomes u squared plus u minus 6 equals 0. And that's just a standard quadratic that we can solve, and, or we can factor. So this is going to give us u plus 3, u minus 2. So we get u equals negative 3, u equals 2. So remember that once you get to this point, you need to put back in what you had originally called u. So we get 3 to the x power equals negative 3, or 3 to the x power equals 2. So uh, any number to a power that, well, as long as the base is positive, that could never give you a negative answer. So this is an extraneous solution. 3 to the x could never be negative 3. So remember, any negative power you would do is just making it a fraction, so it's never going to be a negative number. 3 to the x equals 2, though, certainly could be. And if you want to solve that, let's just do log base 3 of both sides. Log base 3 of 3 to the x will just give us x. So we get that x is equal to log base 3 of 2. And that's our only solution, so we get answer choice A there. So recognizing that this right here is actually a quadratic is key to this problem, because any other way you could have done it would have ended up taking forever or maybe just being impossible. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.